debates. Excuse me, sir. Let's get something straight right away. We're not here under common law. We're under here a statutory provision. That's all I can hear. Is, is this Admiralty Law, sir? This is not Admiralty Law. What, what courtroom are we in? Is this a courtroom? This is a hearing room. Are you a lawful judge? I'm Are you a lawful judge? Administrative hearing officer. Well, I just had an appointment. I contracted with D470. Please be seated. Stephen Johnson. I am the authorized representative. Are you an attorney? You are Stephen Johnson. We're not having a hearing, sir. I'm the authorized representative. There's no such a thing as authorized representative. Either you're Mr. Johnson or you're not. I'm not Mr. Johnson. I'm here as an authorized representative of the legal entity, Mr. Johnson. You're an attorney. I don't have to answer that question. Yes, you do. Am I obligated? Unless, unless you answer that question, I'm not conducting a hearing. If you conduct, if you, I'm here in honor, sir. Trying to stay in honor. Either you're Mr. Johnson or you're not Mr. Johnson. If you're not Mr. Johnson, I am the legal. I am the legal. Can't be a legal representative. Yes, of Mr. I can. Johnson. I'm the authorized representative. The only representative of the legal entity, which was a person. Mr. Johnson. I am a living being. Okay, I'm sure the question on everybody's mind, and they're on the edge of their seat. Does this BS work really work in court? Well. Let's see. Here's the case, State v. Gunnell. And this fella, he got a ticket for not having his car registered. He pled no contest and uh, was fined $25. Yes, folks, $25 <coughs> in court costs. And in his brief, he was maintaining that he didn't consent to c proceed. Of course they don't. And he argued that... Uh, he uh, cited to the UCC, the Uniform Commercial Code, that the uh, debtor listed in all caps was an artificial person, separate and distinct from the Kevin B. Gunnell lowercase secured party creditor, natural man, sovereign. And he argued that the secured party creditor, the lowercase guy, took control of the all caps guy, straw man name, by recording a lien against it, which is superior to the lien that the corporate government had against the straw man name. Now, this doesn't fool anybody. In fact, the courts say, we note similar sovereign citizen arguments have been raised in the various federal court actions by pro se litigants, albeit unsuccessfully. That's important. Unsuccessfully, meaning it's never worked. And they quote United States v. Benneby, regardless of an individual's claim status of descent, be it as a sovereign citizen, a secured party creditor, or a flesh and blood human being. That person is not beyond the jurisdiction of the courts. Black v. Florida, petitioners writing his name in all caps letters did not change him from a human natural person to a legal entity, thus depriving the state court of jurisdiction to prosecute him for criminal offenses. Then we have United States v. Curry, rejecting the defendant's claim that the use of capital letters means that the defendant is an artificial or fictitious person. Capital letter argument is unavailing and frivolous. United States v. Delatore, this court's jurisdiction remains valid whether his name is written in all capital letters or a mix of capital and lower case letters or whether he identifies himself as a real flesh and blood man in his private capacity or a sovereign secured party creditor. Furthermore, the UCC has no bearing on criminal subject matter jurisdiction. United States v. Mitchell and Van Hazel v. Luoma, noting that other courts have rejected similar jurisdictional claims as frivolous and holding that petitioner cannot divest the state of Michigan of jurisdiction to prosecute him of a criminal offense simply by declaring a security interest in himself pursuant to the UCC. And so what does all this mean? It means that it's never worked anywhere in any court in the United States. It's bullsh uh, BS. Here's four other cases. What's uh, interesting is this U.S. v. Con case. 
That was uh, Wesley Snipes' co-defendant in the income tax evasion case. Uh, Khan used this argument. Snipes was acquitted. Khan did time. So use this junk at your own peril. The Mr. Johnson is a corporation? I'm not a corporation, sir. I'm a living being. And so is Mr. Johnson. No, sir. Well, since Mr. Johnson doesn't appear, I'm going to enter defaults in this. No, I am here. I am here as an authorized representative and in honor of that legal entity. You, sir, you can't. I'm here trying to resolve the matter, sir. Are you? Are you not? Are you a, a lawful sir? judge? You're not here to. Don't interrupt him. I, I'm sorry. I, I was just trying to well, clarify. Let me, let me That's start, all. I'm going to start this here, and then we'll get to deal. Good afternoon. My name is Richard McManus. I am an independent hearing officer who will conduct your hearing this afternoon. We're here today for hearing concerning alleged violations of the Colorado Public Highway Authority Law as it pertains to the E-470 Public Highway Authority. I want to explain what we're going to do this afternoon. First, you need to know that you may not record this hearing either by audio or video recording. Do you understand that? Do you understand that? Sir. Sure. You're not to record either by audio or video, video this hearing. Do you understand that? I have the right to... You don't have any right to do anything about recording. I have a constitutional right, do I not? Does the Constitution does not apply in this courtroom? Is that what you're saying? Sir, you just tell me you can't video record this thing. So if you have anything that's recording this here, turn it off at this point. Do you understand that? I, I believe I'm exercising my rights, sir. You don't have a right to record this here. Do you understand? No. No, sir. Second, you to know that I have no authority to suspend or modify any proposed whole fee cost of penalty. Do you understand that? I'd like to exercise my right to remain silent. This is not a criminal proceeding. You do not have that right. I don't have any rights. You have the right to be represented at this hearing by an attorney. You're Mr. Johnson. That's what you have a right. If you're not an attorney, you can't represent me. Recording this? I'm sorry? Are you recording this? No, I just have the right to exercise my rights. Do I not, sir? You have all the rights that you have as a citizen of the United States. If I was a citizen, I'm a natural person, not a citizen. That's a 14th Amendment created entity used. Are you familiar with Black's Law, sir? Are you here? I'm on familiar with all the law, sir. If you are not Mr. Johnson, we're not going to have a hearing on this matter. I'm the authorized representative of that. You are not an authorized representative. Unless you want to comply with the terms and conditions that I set forth here, we're not going to have you here. Well, I'm, I'm here in honor as as the authorized representative of the legal entity, Stephen Eugene Johnson. There is no mister if you put mister in front of anything in accordance to Black's Law Dictionary. It is a corporation. Mr. Johnson, Stephen E. Period Johnson is a corporation. Stephen Eugene Johnson in all capital letters is a corporation. Anything in all capital letters sir, is a corporation. I'm just explaining the law, sir. I thought you knew it. I, I reject that. I'll to explain the law to you. Okay. You're not a lawyer, so I don't accept anything that you said. Now, unless you admit to being Stephen E. Johnson, we're not having this with you. I do not do such. I am the legal entity. My name is Stephen. My name is Stephen of the Johnson family. I am not the corporation. I'm not going to. I'm not going to enter myself into joinder. No, sir. You can do whatever you want, but I'm going to enter a judgment against you, which can be enforced in the courts of the state of Colorado. Well, I guess you're going to have to do that. Then I can get to the right courtroom. The court, the court will enter a default judgment on all of the violations since Mr. Johnson. I'm here, Stephen Johnson. You say you're a representative. Of the legal entity, that's right. Default judgment. Default judgment. I'll be in court. When do I go? Do I know? Am I going to be notified? To the county court, in which the various tolls were. What county is this? Is this state or is this? These are on Douglas, Adam, and Arapahoe County. There are three different counties. Okay. You can appeal it within 30 days of the case. Case closed. Thank you, Your Honor.